to uh, a nautically themed edition of Know Your Band Mate. We've got Kim and Georgie from Shrimpwich. Thanks for thanks for coming in today. You're yeah, absolutely right? welcome. Who do you think is going to win today? Who do you think knows more about the other one? What happens if it's a draw? I think it's a tie. I reckon yeah. Kim should win it because she drove us here. If it's a draw, Kim, you'll win because you, you drove here. Yeah, that's officially in the rules now. So my first question is for you, Kim, and it, it's about Georgie. What is Georgie's star sign? This is really easy because Georgie loves talking about star signs. Aries. Yep, Aries is, is correct. It's a fiery sign. Yeah. I believe. Kim's also a fiery sign. Okay, well, yeah, the follow-up question then is, uh, what is Kim's star sign? A saggy baby. A saggy baby. Okay, we're on 100% so far. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kim, what is Georgie's favourite pizza topping? I know a lot of what you don't like. Who doesn't? Rocket, as in the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Not the space vehicle. I'm going to have to say that is incorrect. What's written here is it is gluten-free vegetarian. Yeah. That's the type of pizza. Yeah, maybe I did it bad. Georgie, what would Kim say her uh, favourite pizza topping is? Oh, look, it's either cheese or ham. <laughs> uh, it's neither cheese nor no. ham, it's actually olives. Pizza. Oh, that's nice. That's classy. You put it into your martini afterwards. Uh, what is Georgie's pet peeve? I'm going to say people cutting their nails on the tram or in public. Uh, that is 100% correct. Do you yeah. often see people clipping their toenails? Yes, and sometimes I don't know if it's the train going like, is that a sound? Or do people actually bring their nail clippers onto the train and clip them? It's like, where is it going? That's disgusting. And what would Kim's pet peeve be, Georgie? Um, I had to think about this. It's unsolicited advice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you the point. Yeah. That people, people telling me how to play guitar directly after a show. Yeah. So yeah. does that happen a lot? Hasn't happened that actually that recently, That's but in early Shrimp Witch days, basically Is every single that? show. What do you play? I play this. How about you play, use, use a little more of that whammy bar. How long have you been playing for? Oh, I've been in a band. Oh, you remind me of a uh, joke jet. Public service announcement, do not um, give advice to Shrimp Witch. They don't need it. What has been George's most embarrassing moment on tour or at a show? Look, I know this, is in, this isn't the right answer, but I'm gonna say, farting too much on stage. That is a very funny answer, but unfortunately it is not, it is not the correct Yeah, because she wouldn't get embarrassed by that. Apparently after your graduation, one Georgie Goonsack drank too many espresso martinis and uh, forgot your songs at the tote. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Remember that? That was a well, fun we, night. We both, did, we both did. No matter how drunk I get, I'll always finish it, but that was the only time that I've ever been like, Kim, look, I'm actually drowning right here. <laughs> We're going to have to cut this set short. What would Kim say her most embarrassing moment has been? Um, like, have I repressed it too? Like, in order to <laughs> yeah, protect Kim? Yeah, I think like, that's what we've done with yeah, a lot of these things. It's like, just buried in the past, babe. But I think it would be forgetting the rest of a song and just having to stop it. Kim has actually said not applicable to this question. There is no room for embarrassment in Shrimp Witch. Oh, mm. that's the best answer, actually. What, what was the first album Georgie bought? It's going to be something a lot cooler than my answer. I want to say something by the... Uh, Kennedy's. I'll, I'll give you the point. Uh, Dead Kennedy's is written down along with Spice Girls and So Fresh. Um, so what a, very, a combination. A very interesting musical, <laughs> musical melange there. What is Kim's very embarrassing first album? That she this bought. is what I mean about losing social credibility. Is it Backstreet Boys? It's, oh. Guy Sebastian? It's getting close. Shannon, no. You're, now you're just playing, you're playing guesses. I've, I've to stop you there. The correct answer, as was the answer for probably half of all Australians, was Delta Goodrum's Born to Try. Mm. Oh, no way! I had Innocent Eyes single. She had a pixie cut and she was like... Lu, 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 lu. The winner of today's Know Your Bandmate with Shrimp Witch is Kim. Kim yeah. Braun. Yes! yes. Thank Kim. Oh, okay. That's lovely to see. You got your prizes, this trophy. Um, be, be very careful with it. It's um, it's been it's under repairs. Obvi obviously, yes, it looks like it's been lovingly cared for. Look, I just wanted to go out there, have a good time, show off my sleeves, and then come home with this really strangely proportioned trophy. I need to take that back, by the way, that you don't go get to take it home. Well, Sorry. don't go taking my trophy. <laughs> Run. <laughs> don't go taking my trophy. Please do not take Poncho's trophy. <laughs>